Hi, this is Anjana from Telcoma Technologies and today let's have a look at software defined networking. That means in this we are going to control our networks with the help of softwares. So networks are controlled by software applications and SDN controllers. That means we are now going to control our networks with the help of some software applications as well as SDN controllers which is software defined networking controllers. Now the question is that why we require to move on software defined networking because a traditional network controller Like this is my traditional network controller which we are using. In this controller which is very tedious to manage. It is very much tedious to manage and it is old rigid. It is based on old rigid commands and consoles. So now in software defined networking, we are going to remove these rigid commands and controls from the network so that my system, which is my key requirement that I require speed and automation. Need of R is speed and automation, which could not be possible in traditional based network control system. Now we require speed and automation in our system and this speed and automation is the key requirement is the key requirement of SDN that SDN networks should have speed and they provide a traditional automation system in our system, in our networks now in this traditional network controller we require a lot of administrative work. So we have a requirement a lot of administrative work. So as we require a lot of administrative work in this system so it makes my system more complex. Now as the system is very much complex, now if I require to add on something to the network or change the network configuration, so I require days and months to make the configuration possible. Now we are moving towards SDN which is a speedy and automated system in which we have a less of administrative work and which is a simple which could be the simpler network. So that is why we require software defined networking to make our system more complex we, and it is required to manage the network more effectively to remove the tediousness of the old traditional networking system. Now this in which we have this SDN is an open technology. That is it is a totally open technology and it is more flexible than the previous technology or networking system. SDN is open and more flexible technology. It has more interoperability functions. That means it has a concept of interoperability. It has greater innovation in it. So we have open technology in which which is offering me interoperability, innovation and most effective that it is a cost effective solution.
so it is a cost effective solution which is its most important advantage that we are having a cost effective systems with the help of software defined networking or if i have software based networking interfaces in my system now what happen as why we require speed and automation in our system because we are going to club with cloud and multi tenant networks so we have clouds and multi tenant networks so for a success in these clouds and multi tenant networks we require speed and automation that means my networking should be should be fast enough to access the cloud and the different networks now i will compare that before sdn what we have so before sdn the, that what are the parameters we have before we have software defined networking and we have complexity as the very first factor that we have complexity in the network then we have manual configurations so we have complexity manual configuration inconsistent policies we have inconsistent policies on the system and inability to scale so i can say that these are the major issues which we are having before sdn now these are not the small issues that complex system will take more time to process the speed or the data now we have manual configurations we have inconsistent policies and above all we have we are ability inability to scale so i can say that these are the drawbacks in our traditional networking systems now traditionally we have if organization has to make simple growing demand as organization has a growing demand of all the services so i can say that we are having growing demand so growing demand for organizations now if growing demand what they require they have to increase the hardware the only thing right that they have to additional and expensive hardware changes so as per the growing demand organization has to make additional hardware plus software changes so we require additional hardware and software and this could be expensive as i require to make our system cost effective but this is a expensive that means as per the growing demand i will have more cost because we have a hardware and software change and which is very expensive so that means we have a cost more so what we require we require to move towards so this we require to move towards sdn because this sdn is a cost effective solution in order to meet the growing demand so sdn and growing demand will make the system more effective because as per the growing demand irrespective of additional hardware and the software changes we are making the concept of sdn which will meet the growing demand of the user now this sdn we can again relate that how things are interrelated with one another Now this 
SDN will helps to improve server virtualization. So SDN helps to improve SDN helps to improve ser server virtualization. Why it helps to improve? It helps to increase. So we are going to, it helps to improve ser server virtualization so that we have to increase resource efficiency. So one of the factors that we are going to, to use my resource more efficiently then we have next factor which is we are going to reduce complexity so second factor is first one is we have a resource efficiency we have reduced the complexity we can manage we have management fast so this could be a process in software defined network and this is possible because of the SDN. Now we can see that we have a growing demand which is the need as the generations are passing as the population or as the, we have a number of applications. So we have a growing demand. Now organization has to make additional or software changes which is very expensive and this is that means additional hardware and software changes which is expensive is my traditional networking system. Now, irrespective of making the cost more, we are moving towards SDN. So, as we are moving towards SDN, we are going to improve server virtualization because software defined networking requires server virtualization concept. And after we are have improved the efficiency of the resources which we require, we have reduced the complexity and we, we have made the management fast. Now, for example, So, I can give an example for this. Like we have an example. We have one user. This is one user. It has its own PC. So, one user own PC which is I can say this one is my dedicated so this user has its own PC and this is a dedicated media. Now we can re relate this that in each network server. So each network server. That means we have physical components. And these physical components can be located in a data center so physical center on a rack of somewhere located in data center and we are saving the data of this user in this data center which is lo located in an area so this is my traditional approach now in modern approach so this one is as traditional now we have a modern approach Now, modern approach is server virtualization. Now, this server virtualization, that means to make a single server function. So, we are, have to make 
सिंगल सर्वर फंक्शन रिमेम्बर द वर्ड हियर फंक्शन सो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ सिंगल सर्वर टू फंक्शन एज इट मल्टीपल सो सिंगल सर्वर कैन फंक्शन एज अ मल्टीपल सर्वर नाउ इच सर्वर fulfilling different task each server single server is function as multiple server and now each single server is functioning different task and using full capacity of server so this is my model approach now okay so to make a single server so that it can function as a multiple server now multiple servers are functioning differently fulfilling their own task now sdn with the help of sdn so we in management that means in modern approach we have this virtualization concept now with the help of sdn we have a use of virtualization to expand network efficiency so we have a use of virtualization concept why we require use of virtualization because we require to expand network efficiency and provide solutions now we are going to provide solutions to have increased capacity and management solutions so we will use a concept of virtualization so that we can expand the network efficiency we can provide solutions to increase the capacity and then provide management solution that means how to make management fast so in this we have discussed about traditional approach and modern approach of sdn or the networking concept for more lectures of sdn please visit our website web address tilkomatraining.com or you can visit youtube for more lectures of sdn thank you so much